a Sephora haul for you guys. Um, I cut it open, but I haven't opened it yet. No, I know it's in it because I wanted to do a haul video. This is not the kind of thing I normally wear, but it's Alex's and I grabbed it today because it looked comfy and warm, which it is. And then it was warmer day to day, so I'm burning up. But I love it. So this is um, from Black Friday. I was going to order the white chocolate chip palette from Sephora. And I didn't find out until like 3 a.m. that they changed it or made it a Cyber Monday thing and like nobody knew about it. And so I stayed up on last night, because today is Monday, so last night slash early this morning to get it. And again, they didn't tell anybody except I'm sure VIB Rouge just got an email that it was available for VIB Rouge on Sunday. So they bought all of them and when it was made available to everybody else this morning, I was never able to get it. Nobody was. So rather annoyed about that. Um the matte chocolate chip on Too Faced website says that it's going to be like properly, it's coming soon December 14th, so I'm hoping this one will be too so I can order it. But, point being, since I did not get to order my white chocolate chip palette on Friday, Alex let me order something else. Um, so, he let me order the Makeup Forever Artist Shadow Volume 2 which they had for $25, and these things are normally like $44, and it has a little booklet, it's interesting, and it looks like this, here's this thing, this thing is heavy for it being like cardboard and stuff, and it looks like this, so this is exciting, um, it's really pretty, I was honestly expecting Okay, so these pans are about the size of a quarter. I was expecting them to be the size of a silver dollar or silver half dollar, I don't remember which. Like they are when you make your own and so forth, but that's okay. I'm still excited about this. I still want to get the other three. Um, and I can't wait to play with this. I'm sorry the lighting is crap today. Um, these are the three hardest to see. This one is like a super dark plum. This one's a greenish brownish duochrome and this one's a purple so I'm so excited about that I look forward to playing with that and since this was $25 I s needed cotton rounds anyway so I ordered those and I wanted to spend $10 to get it up to $35 and I'll show you why in a second so I also ordered um, the Sephora Purely Pure Organic Cotton Pads. They're like the Shiseido cotton squares, but they're Sephora. So you got that. And then the samples I got were Replica Perfume Lipstick On. Um, Philosophy Amazing, oh, Fragrance. Philosophy makes in Grace fragrance and the Bosha Subaki cleansing oil gel. And the reason I wanted to make sure I spent $35 is because if I'm already spending $29 to get palette I wanted and cotton rounds I needed, I might as well spend the other six and get this mystery bag full of goodies. So I did that. And let's see what's inside. I know it was like six things in a full size mask. So the full size mask is the Sephora Lingzee Sleeping Mask, which I look forward to trying. Let's see. I'm just going to reach in and grab things. Okay, this is Erin Rose Lip Conditioner. Versace Eros Perfume Spray. Professional from Benefit. I love this. Um, so there was also a thing to get 12 
samples in a bag, but those were all four packets and it showed you what was in it, and the only things I was interested in were things I'd tried already. So I got this one because it looked like more deluxe size samples, and it looks like there's still some foil samples in this, but with the mask and everything, it's pretty good. This is the Essay Edit Pink Peony Overnight Water Pack Mask. Fresh Vitamin Nectar Vibrancy Boosting Face Mask. And Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. So, there's three deluxe size samples, two perfume samples, the mask, and two foil samples. Sorry. Two one perfume sample, three deluxe size samples, a full size mask, two foil packets, and a perfume sample. Which I was thinking about making an order today since I did not get to order the white chocolate chip again today. And this was going to be one of the samples I picked because like all the samples were perfumes and I like the idea of the name of this one. So that's cool. Um, I ended up not making that order because I decided I didn't need to order anything else right now. I probably will next week though because that $20 off 50 coupon, Alex was going to get me the chocolate chop for Christmas, he said. And I told him, well, I'll just order it next week then and get it for $38. And I don't know if you can use that more than once, but if you can, I'm still getting the... Spectrum, full spectrum palette too, because yes please, yes please. So, that's my Sephora order, that's the mystery bag. I think the mystery bag is pretty good, although I think, so okay, they just came out with, yesterday, they just came out with this coupon code for if you spend, so there's a 20, if you spend 35 you get this little clutch bag with 12 foil packet samples. If you spend 35, you get this mystery bag with the six samples and the mask. And they just came out with yesterday. If you spend 25, you can pick one of four different bags that has like six or something different samples in it. So I think if they're going to do that, they should make this one only spend 25 as well. Because this is really cool and really good, but I think spending 35 for it is a little bit much. I mean, it's easy to do considering most of the things I want right now are palettes and most of those are like, with the exception of the white chocolate chip and this one that I just got, most of those are 34 and up. So, I mean, it's not that big a deal, it's just my opinion. So, I've heard that these cotton rounds, I've been using the ones from Ulta or just wherever, honestly. I've heard these are really good. Um, they're only like a dollar more than the ones at Ulta, so I figured I'd go ahead and try them. And I figured these are, these are $4 for 70 round ones, and these were $6 for, oh yeah, I don't know. 60 square ones so I mean these are a little bit pricey compared to those but these are even half as good as the people say the Shiseido ones are sure why not I mean people complain about the Shiseido ones being so expensive but you get like 50 I think of those for five bucks you don't have to get the big thing for 950 and even then I know that per piece they're like stupid expensive but me, if it's going to last me at least a month, and it's five bucks or under, I don't really care how many is in the package, to be completely honest. I don't really care. So if I like these or these better, then I'll probably just start buying those. Because, I mean, the other thing too is I prefer to get the Ulta ones. And I had been getting the Ulta ones as, in, as opposed to Walmart or Walgreens or wherever because I get points. But I get points for these too and 
I don't have to spend either shipping or $35 to $50 to get them shipped. I can just get these shipped for, I can buy these for $4 plus tax and get them shipped to my house because I have the flash shipping because I paid the 10 bucks for it because it was worth it. It has been worth it. So I don't, I don't really care the difference, but in my opinions i'm excited to have this i'm excited to play with this tomorrow i have i don't even know if you can see it the lighting here is so trash, but i have the urban decay electric palette on my eyes today so i'm so excited i'm gonna go do a little of this some more it's my first makeup forever palette and i'll see you guys next time bye